Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of something to the exact color that you want. So for this example, I'm going to be using this picture. Okay, so now I'm just going to zoom out and resize the picture. Okay, so one way you can change the color is to add a HSL adjustment. So then if I want to change the reds in the picture, I can click on the red and then move the hue slider. But obviously that's going to affect all of the reds in the picture and I just want to change the colour of a dress. So if I just delete that HSL adjustment, I can then make a selection over the dress. So I'm going to use the smart selection brush and just paint that over. And then I can go back and add a HSL adjustment. And then if I move the hue slider, that's just going to affect the dress now. But it's not going to be the exact colour that I want. So I'm just going to deselect that and get rid of the HSL adjustment. So the colour I want to change the dress to is the green in this Subway logo. So I'm going to go back to the photo persona and then using the rectangle tool I'm just going to make a rectangle and then if I go to the colour wheel I can drag the colour picker tool onto the green and so now my rectangle is the colour that I want. So now I want to make a selection of her dress so I'm going to go to the selection persona and then I'm using the freehand selection tool. And I'm just going to make a little circle. But I want to avoid any of the highlights or shadows because that's not going to be the exact colour. So once I've done that circle, I want to copy it into a new layer. So I'm going to go back to the photo persona. And then I'm clicking the three dots at the top. And then I'm going to pasteboard. And then copy merged. And then I'm going back to the three dots. Back to the pasteboard. And then I'm going to click paste. So then if I go to the layer studio you can see that layer here so then I'm just going to deselect and if I drag that out you can see it's got a lot of the texture and we just want the block colour so I'm going to go to the filter studio and then go to blurs and then click average blur and that's going to make it a block. And now I'm going to place that rectangle underneath the green one. So now that I've got these two rectangles side by side, I can see what I need to do to this orange colour to turn it into the green. So I'm just going to drag that orange one to sit beneath the green one, not on top of it. And then I'm going to go to the green rectangle and duplicate. And then I'm dragging that top rectangle to sit on top of the orange one. And then I'm going to drag that down as well. And now I need to change the blend mode of this one to colour. So now we've got these two rectangles and I need to make this bottom one match the top one. So I'm going to go to the adjustment studio and then I'm adding a levels adjustment. And because this one's a bit lighter, I need to darken it. So I'm going to drag the black slider across. And if you'd need to brighten it, you'd move the white one. So that's almost the same, but the color is just slightly off. So on the channels, slider I'm going to move it over to green and then I'm going to bring up the blacks on that one a bit. So now I think that's a good match. So I'm going back to the layers studio and I'm going to select these two adjustments and then I'm going to group them together 
and then I'm moving that group to the top of the layers. So now I've got these rectangles which I don't need anymore so I can just delete them. Okay so now I've got this green rectangle and if I drag that across you can see it's now changing the dress. But obviously we only want the green to be affecting the dress. So I'm going to hide that green rectangle for now and then I'm going to go back to the woman and then move into the selection persona and using the smart selection brush I'm going to make a selection around her dress. And then I'm going to go to the refine selection tool and I'm just going to paint over her hair. Just so Affinity can kind of correct itself. And then I'm going to click apply. And then I'm going to go back to the green rectangle and turn that on. And then I'm adding a mask layer. And then deselect. I know you can see the dress is green, but some of the green is painted on the hair. So I'm going to go back to that mask layer. And then I'm going back to the photo persona. Then I'm using the pink brush tool and I'm changing the colour to black. And I'm just going to start painting away some of that green. And then if you've removed too much, you can just change the colour to white and that'll bring the green back. And then one last thing you can do to make it look a bit more realistic is go to the levels adjustment and then click on these three dots at the top and then go to this box on the right. And then because I've had to darken the green to make it match, some of the highlights would have been lost so if I drag this right point down it will bring back some of the highlights and so if you had to brighten the green to make it match you can bring down this left one to bring back some of the shadows that you would have lost And then if I just hide this group, you can see what it looked like before and then after. And now I can just get rid of this subway sign. <laughs> 